welcome to the channel. Today, we'll be summarizing the results of the Be Sure study published in the New England Journal of Medicine on July 8th and presented in the American Academy of Dermatology Virtual Meeting Experience in April 2021. Psoriasis is a common chronic inflammatory skin condition affecting men and women of all ages and races. Signs and symptoms vary, but skin lesions of the most common subtype, plaque psoriasis, are classically described as salmon pin patches covered with silvery scales mainly over the scalp, elbows, knees, and gluteal cleft. The condition occasionally involves other areas including the nails and joints. Nearly 3% of the world's population are living with psoriasis, approximately 125 million patients. As with many skin conditions, psoriasis has a considerable psychological impact on quality of life, potentially affecting personal and professional relationships, including social life and sexual functioning. Multiple scoring systems have been validated to evaluate the severity of psoriasis, including PASI and IgA scores. The Psoriasis Area and Severity Index, or PASI, is scored by rating the severity, from 0 to 4, of redness, thickness and scaling over the body's four main regions, and multiplying it by the affected body surface area to derive an aggregate score, which can range from 0 to 72, with higher scores indicating worsened disease. A PASI score exceeding 10 is generally taken to be moderate to severe disease. In comparison, the Investigator's Global Assessment Score, or IGA, is a simpler grading system that visually classifies psoriatic disease into a 5-point scale. Treatment of psoriasis generally depends on its severity. For limited disease, topicals are usually the therapy of choice. In moderate to severe disease, dermatologists turn to phototherapy or systemic agents such as retinoids and methotrexate. In recent years, the arsenal has been supplemented by biologic agents such as adalimumab, a tumor necrosis factor inhibitor that directly targets the pathophysiological processes underlying the disease. Bimekizumab is an investigational humanized monoclonal IgG1 antibody that selectively and directly inhibits both interleukin 17A and 17F, two key cytokines driving the inflammatory processes. IL-17F has overlapping biology with IL-17A and drives inflammation independently of IL-17A. Selective inhibition of IL-17F in addition to IL-17A has been shown to suppress inflammation to a greater extent than IL-17A inhibition alone. UCB Biopharma, a pharmaceutical company headquartered in Belgium, developed this drug and has funded multiple investigational studies to study its safety and efficacy, including Be Sure and its other sister trials. Be Ready, Be Radiant, and Be Vivid. Be Sure was designed to evaluate the safety and efficacy of Bimekizumab compared to Adalimumab in reducing the signs and symptoms of plaque psoriasis. This was designed to be both a non-inferiority and superiority trial. This was a phase 3 multi-center double-blind randomized control trial conducted over 56 weeks involving 478 participants with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis with a mean baseline PASI score of 19.8. They were equally split into three groups. One received monthly injections of bimekizumab, another received bi-weekly adalimumab injections for half a year before getting monthly bimekizumab injections, and the last had monthly bimekizumab injections for four months before transitioning to a bi-monthly regime. The primary outcomes were, firstly, 90% of greater reduction from baseline in the PASI score, or the PASI 90 response, and secondly, an IgA score of 0 to 1, signifying clear or almost clear skin. The non-inferiority margin was fixed at 10% before testing for superiority. Other outcomes included the rate of adverse events, as well as PASI and IgA responses at various other time points besides week 16. And here are the results. Nearly 40% more patients on pure bimekizumab regimes achieved a 90% reduction in PASI score compared to those given abadalimumab and about 30% more patients attained a desirable IgA score on a single agent compared to a mixed regime. Both outcomes met statistical significance for both non-inferiority and superiority. The rate of adverse events, serious or otherwise, was similar between the different regimens. The most common adverse events for bimekizumab were URTIs, oral thrush, hypertension, and diarrhea. All were relatively manageable and generally not of great clinical concern. This study shows that bimekizumab led to significant improvement in patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis while maintaining a reasonable safety and tolerability profile. 
This also highlights the viability of dual IL-17A and 17F inhibitors in the treatment of psoriasis. There are, however, many caveats. Firstly, this study did not directly compare a pure adalimumab regime with a pure bimekizumab regime, but instead formulated a mixed regime containing both drugs. This can potentially obscure the individual effects of each drug on the safety and efficacy analysis. In a similar vein, combining both bimekizumab regimes during the statistical analysis may also dilute the findings. For example, one regimen could have been more efficacious but led to greater side effects. By analyzing the data together with another regimen that's less efficacious but more tolerable, it could dampen the results in both aspects. A 56-week follow-up period was also relatively short, and 500 participants, also a relatively small sample size for a study on such a common condition. The authors also acknowledged these limitations in their paper. Lastly, as the trial selected for participants with moderate to severe disease, we are unable to generalize the results to a lower risk population. However, given that biologics are only considered for patients with severe disease who have failed in other therapy, this may not matter so much in actual clinical practice. Hope you've learned something from this video. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you!